In GroupWise 8, you needed to resend an appointment in order to make changes to it. You also needed to retract the original appointment. In GroupWise 2012, the resend retract process has been replaced by a simpler process, where all you need to do is edit the existing appointment. Hi! In this GroupWise 2012 What's New video, I'm going to show you how GroupWise 2012 handles changes to the place or time of an appointment. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the account of George Smith. I've created an appointment, which you can see here, and I've invited recipients to it. After I send it, though, I realize that I need to change the meeting place of the appointment. In GroupWise 2012, it's simple. I just right-click and select Edit. I remove the current meeting place, and then I just add the new one. After I do that, I click Send. The new meeting place is updated here in my calendar already. Now, I'm going to use the proxy feature to access the calendar of one of the recipients, Marie Bernard. When we look at her calendar, we can see that the appointment has shown up here and that it is appearing in both bold and italics to indicate that something has been changed that will require me to re-accept the appointment. When I hover over the appointment, you can see that both the place and the to list have been updated. If I open it, you can see the new place located under where, as well as on the to list line, but we also see this yellow bar across the top that shows what has been changed in this appointment since the last time that Marie has accessed it. If I close the appointment and go to her mailbox, see that there is a new appointment waiting for her to re-accept. Recipients need to re-accept when either the place or time of an appointment is edited. If I open it, I can see here, click Accept, and it's added to Marie's calendar. Now I'm going to proxy back to George Smith, the appointment creator. When we go to his calendar, we can see the appointment that we're dealing with here. As George Smith, I realize that the time of the appointment also needs to be modified. To do that, I simply right-click, select Edit, and then click here to change the time. After I've made my changes, I simply click Send. Now I'm going to proxy to a different recipient this time, Martha De La Torre. When we go to Martha's calendar, we can see that the appointment is shown up here. Once again, it's appearing in both bold and italics to show that the appointment has been changed and that the change must be reaccepted. If I open the appointment, then we can see that our changes have come in here, both the conference room earlier and the new time. Also. We can see in the yellow bar what's been changed since the last time this was accessed. Now I have the option of either accepting it from here or from Martha's mailbox. I can accept it here, open the email, and click accept. If I go back to the calendar, then it shows up right where it should be. With GroupWise 2012, you always know when an appointment has been modified, but you only need to re-accept when someone changes the place or time. Thanks for watching.